Hey YouTube, Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. And today I want to have a fun discussion with you guys about the things that I'm anticipating, the things that I'm a little excited about for 2018. So here I'm going to, you know, offer some predictions about companies that I, I think will do well. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of hope here, companies that I hope will do well. I'm going to try to base it though on, on a little bit of kind of what I've been seeing happening and some trends that, that uh, maybe indicate to me that uh, hopefully these are some companies that are going to do some exciting things this year. Now before I get into my predictions, I would love to have you guys weigh in down below. And if you're a YouTuber who's watching, I would love to have you do a VR to this. Uh, Dr. Frunky, Birdshot, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Nick, uh, Austin at Epic, Epic Snuggle Bunny, uh, Seven Ready Knife Reviews. I would love to hear you guys do a video where you kind of say, yeah, these are the companies that I'm excited about for 2018. Of course, we're going to keep it to knife companies. This is a knife channel. Uh, so if you're really excited for the new Toyotas coming out, well, that's fine. Uh, but don't, <laughs> you can do a video response to that if you want, but it's going to, little be, going to be a little off topic. All right. So, uh, one last thing before we get into my predictions, my companies to watch, I've got to talk a little bit about this sheath. This was made for me by the real Bushmonkey EDC on Instagram. Scott, thank you so much. This is such a cool thing. And I've been carrying this just like this. So this is my Rike 815. It fits in here really, really nicely. I haven't put a ferro rod or a pan or anything in this side yet, but I will. I'm thinking about what I want to use it for. Um, but yeah, made this sheath for me uh, to sort of commemorate 5,000 subscribers and I'm super, super happy about that. Uh, this thing works really, really well. Uh, so let me set this aside. Actually, let me leave it right here because the first knife company I want to talk to you about, I don't have a good example for you. Uh, but the first company that I'm pretty excited to see what they do, and in fact, even for right now, they have some models out that came out at the end of 2017 that I'm really excited to check out, and it is Steel Will. Uh, Steel Will have, has that great big D2 chopper, the survival knife. I'm really stoked to, to check that out. Uh, I also want to check out one of their smaller sort of EDC style fixed blades as well as the F15, I think is the name of the model, that uh, it's their new titanium frame lock with um, the D2 steel and uh, the, the carbon fiber show side. I do want to check that knife out as well. So already they've got some stuff that I'm pretty interested in. And, and that kind of, you know, the fact that it all came out at the end of 2017 indicates to me that maybe some of the challenges that they were facing in 2017, they're ready to move past that and really uh, do something special. So uh, I really, really um, am looking forward to what they do. And while I'm mentioning that, a bunch of you have said to me, I really need to review the uh, Steel Wheel Gecko. I will one of these times. And while I'm talking about that, I've got a bunch of knives visiting with me for review, uh, not the least of which is this one and this one and a few others. Um, guys, thank you so much for sending those. It's and, and that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to this year. I've got a, a good influx of knives coming in for review. So that should mean some more diverse content for the channel because when, when someone sends me, it doesn't have to be a knife that I want for my collection. It can just be a knife that I'm even mildly interested in. And uh, so that'll, that'll be good for the channel. And I want to thank you guys so much for doing that. It's a huge, huge help. And it's really exciting for me to get to check out blades that frankly, I would never buy myself. Uh, or you know that I'd like to buy but just don't have the funds for uh, Really really fun stuff. So thank you so much for doing that now after steel will the next knife company that I want to you know sort of uh, shout out toward or give some credit to is Browse Blades. And here's why, guys. Browse Blades, they have struggled. I, I realize they haven't had, you know, the same success that they had with like the Silent Soldier or the Silent Soldier Flipper or the Division, Mini Division. Those were all amazing knives. I have checked out all of those and I absolutely love them. And I still would recommend, especially the Silent Soldier. I really need a, a Silent Soldier Ranger. Um, you know, it's been on my list for a long time, but they're just really hard to come by and uh, Jason doesn't make a lot of them. Now, having said all that, uh, Jason, I think is going to be moving in a more production knife direction for this year. And I'm pretty excited to see that. He's already put out a number of knives at a much more, you know, a, a much more budget friendly price point. And so that's exciting to see in and of itself. The, the designs, none of them have really connected with me the way some of his earlier stuff did, but I, I just, I'm sure that, you know, at any moment he could come out with some good stuff. And there are a couple of knives. Uh, one, he has a collaboration with 
um, TJ Swartz, who designed the, the Koenig Arius and then designed a great knife for CRKT this year. That knife looks like a real win, and he just put out one, just recently posted it for sale on Instagram, and the name is just evading me right now. Someone comment with it down below, but that's another knife that I'm pretty stoked about. So Bros Blades, I think we're gonna see some cool stuff from them in 2018, and in fact, there's already some hints that uh, there are some good things coming. Uh, Jason, if you're watching this, you wanna send me some stuff for review, hey, I'd be glad to check that out and share it with the viewers. All right, let's move on to the next company that I want to talk about, and that is Cold Steel. Uh, now, you guys know uh, I'm, I'm overly fond of the 4Max, probably unhealthily fond of it. Uh, I know it's not practical at all, but I just absolutely love this knife. But this knife does make me interested. There has yet to be a follow-up, right? So this knife is two years old now, I think maybe even more than that. I think we were introduced to it in 2015, and then in 2016 we started actually getting our hands on them. Uh, and we haven't had a follow-up yet, so I'm really excited to see uh, you know, if Cold Steel does something else in this high-end format. Uh, and so that's one of the main things I'm excited about. The other thing is, the stuff they did last year, there was nothing too special. They, they updated a number of their other models. They offered different colors and stuff like that, which, hey, that's great, okay? And I'm sure that brought in a number of buyers that maybe weren't that interested before, but when they, they offer like blues and oranges and reds and stuff that aren't so tactical looking, I, I'm sure that probably brought in some people, which is great. Uh, but but there were no new models, but they have so many great ones that I'm sure they've got more in them. And so I'm sure that, uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to what Cold Steel does. I hope that this year there are more Cold Steels that I really want to get a hold of and check out than, than last year. Because honestly, last year, uh, there weren't too many Cold Steels that I got too excited about. Next on the list is Real Steel. Now, I don't have a Real Steel, so let's just leave the Cold Steels there. Uh, Real Steel does a really, really good job of hitting some pretty high quality levels at a fairly affordable price. Uh, their Megalodon is absolutely outstanding. Uh, the S571 Pro, again, is totally outstanding. You know, fit and finish, action, level of quality, materials, all those things are better than a lot of knives that cost much, much more. The other thing about them is they can be had for some pretty budget-friendly prices. Um, <clears throat> You know, the Megalodon goes for around 200 bucks generally, but I've seen it for much less. Like I know guys who paid under 150 for a brand new one. So uh, not only are they great, but if you shop around, if you take your time, you can find some great deals as well. So I'm excited to see the new stuff that Real Steel comes out with. They've got some cool O-Stop Hell designs already, the G5 Metamorph I hope to pick up and have for the channel here shortly. Um, so all of those, you know, those are a bunch of, so, so yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see what uh, Real Steel does. And while we're on that subject, I'm also excited to see what Rake Knives does. This, this is pretty well my favorite EDC fixed blade. I've tried a ton looking for just that ideal one. And this to me really is it. it. It holds an edge, it's tough as nails. I've used it for all kinds of things. It's a great balance between being you know, a good slicer and a, a really tough knife. And I have literally dropped this in my tool belt and used it on construction sites for days. And, and it's, it's held an edge well. It, you, know, you can see here where, I, I can't remember what I was prying on, but I pinched the knife in between to give me a little leverage uh, and it even worked for that. So I'm really excited to see what Reich Knife will come up with. They're, they're, they do a great job with quality. And in fact, the, the uh, P128SF and the P135SF, I believe I'm getting those model numbers right. Uh, I called those two of the best budget models for 2017. And so, you know, if they're able to do that kind of thing, I'm really excited to see what they do for this year coming up. Uh, now, the next company I've got to talk about is Benchmade. Now, you know, Benchmade, I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping and I kind of believe that some of the issues they were having with quality control and things like that are over. I really hope that they are. I've been really impressed. Of course, this is one of my favorite, it's certainly my favorite Benchmade, but it's even a favorite knife of mine. I absolutely love the Crooked River. And uh, I think... Uh, they, then they had the Freak, the Boost. Uh, this year we have the Grizzly Creek, I think. If I'm getting that name wrong, again, correct me down in the comments. Um, 
So we, we know some stuff about Benchmade, but we haven't seen, and we, we, you know, based on last year, they had some really outstanding mid-year releases. And so it'll be cool to see uh, what they come up with for 2018. And I hope it's some really exciting stuff. All right, next on the list, and this, these guys made the list largely because of this knife. This is not a knife that I would buy or that I even particularly like, but the styling, the carbon fiber inlay, the blade shape, the, this knife has a lot of things that are done really, really well. The, I love the simplicity of it. I love the fact that it's toned down a little bit. Sometimes we does these designs that are so over the top that they're, they're just too much. But this one is really classy. This one is really quality and, you know, uh, this gives me hope for uh, Wii Knives in 2018. And so I'm really looking forward to what they come up with. But in addition to that, I may be even more excited about their collaborations because let's be honest, they have done some epically good collaborations. The smoke was amazing. The glimpse was amazing. Uh, I've heard only good things about the Iron Wolf from Berg Blades. I haven't checked one out yet, but man, I really want to. Um, someone had one for, for sale recently and I was it took all my willpower not to buy it. Um, but uh, I'm excited to see what we does and maybe even more excited to see uh, what collaborations they come up with. So that's something that is definitely on my list. I hope that this is a sign of things to come. You know, this is so far away from the sea monster that I reviewed a little while ago that I absolutely hated that it just gives me a lot of hope, okay? <laughs> and, and I'll be honest, some of the Wii knives I checked out were getting me kind of down. I was like, man, maybe they've jumped the shark, but this uh, kind of redeems them for me, even though it's not a knife that I would want. It's definitely one that I would recommend for anyone who likes smaller knives. Uh, so, by the way, thanks Zal for sending this guy along for review. So Wii knives, I'm definitely interested in them. And then of course, last but not least, zero tolerance. They always deliver in terms of uh, some knives that we can get really, really excited about. And for a number of you watching, you know, zero tolerance is your definitive high end knife. And I don't blame you. I absolutely get it. They do a great job. Now I, you know, my interests uh, stray a little bit from ZT into, you know, stuff like this. Uh, or stuff from Olamic or uh, Riyadh or whoever else, okay? Um, but the, the fact is that ZT continues to do a great job. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I haven't been a big fan of Kershaw's lineup the last couple of years, but the ZTs have really, really been good. Uh, you know, there were last year there were a couple that I weren't super excited about, uh, but the 0920 was amazing. The 0850 was almost amazing. <laughs> uh, the, the 0055 was really good. And if they follow up that... Uh, those offerings with with some other interesting stuff. I'll be really, really stoked to see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll be interested to see what Kaiser does. They always do a couple of knives at least that I'm interested in. Uh, it's not, you know, it, it, they're not always the, the most outstanding. Uh, this knife in particular is quite good. This is the T1 visiting from Carrie, and thank you for sending that along. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Kaiser comes up with. CRKT, I don't know. I, for some reason, well, I, I'm not a huge fan of theirs. They still end up coming up with a couple of knives every year that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, this year, this is no exception, and you've seen that video. But finally, the last sort of, and these, these last three are honorable mentions. These guys didn't really make the list. Uh, but the last honorable mention, uh, so the honorable mentions were CRKT, Kaiser, and finally Boker. Uh, the Boker Lateralis was so stinking good. It was a wonderful, wonderful knife from a great designer. Uh, it just blew me away. It really, really did. And so I hope that they can do something to follow that up. I really do. And, and man, you know, if they were able to do something as good as the Lateralis, let's, let's, you know, let's root for them and hope that they can come up with something equally epic for 2018. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely comment below with the knives that you're kind of following, that you're interested in, that you're hoping will be really, really amazing. Don't for, and we, oh, thanks for watching. That's what I wanted to say. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.